Well, there are questions tonight about how tough Prime Minister Stephen Harper has really been when it comes to sanctions against Russia. Canada has imposed some stiff sanctions against some of Vladimir Putin's closest allies, but not all of them. Two powerful Russians have been exempt. And even though Stephen Harper has said commercial interests won't shape our foreign policy, critics say they obviously have. Jacques Bourbeau reports. On this issue, Prime Minister Stephen Harper has not minced words. Every time he's spoken about Russia's actions in Ukraine, Harper's rhetoric has been harsh. It's increasingly apparent to me that the Cold War has never left Vladimir Putin's mind. Canada has slapped sanctions on more than 80 Russian individuals and businesses, but there are two curious omissions. Sergei Chimyezov is the head of a Russian conglomerate called Rostec. Putin gave him this job, and the two men have known each other for decades. Igor Sechin heads up Rosneft, Russia's leading oil company. He's also a Putin loyalist, formerly his deputy chief of staff. Now, the U.S. has imposed sanctions on these two men, but Canada has not. And critics believe it may have a lot to do with the Russian businessmen's economic ties to Canada. Chimyezov is involved in a Bombardier deal to sell 100 planes to Russia, while Sechin's company has an interest in an Alberta oil field. In this case, we have two of uh, very close associates of uh, Mr. Putin, very close associates, who happen to have investments in Canada. Are we saying that if someone has investments in Canada, they're friends of Putin, they're protected? The Conservatives won't say why Chimyezov and Sechin are not on our sanctions list. What they will say is this. Canada has one of the strongest sanctions regimes in the world, which has been coordinated with our allies to target key individuals. This Liberal MP, who has been banned by Russia from traveling to that country, says the government's rhetoric is not matching its actions. So if you want to go ahead and say you're going to be at the forefront uh, of those internationally taking a leadership role, and then you appear to be backing down, uh, then it does not look like you're taking that leadership role. Imposing sanctions on Chimyezov and Sechin would cause some blowback to the Canadian economy, a price that, so far, the government is not willing to pay. Jopper Beau, Global News, Ottawa.